Hello, guys. Did you miss me? I think I said I missed you guys. Okay, so. Um, yes, I did. I got me a cappuccino. How was y'all day? Oh yes, it's a dress. It's a dress. <laughs> It's a dress. So I put this outfit together. This is a top um, put with a dress. So the dress is from Fashion Nova. It's a bodycon dress. Um, the color is lavender. Um, I also put this shirt over here. Um, this is an Akira shirt. Akara, Akira, Akara, Akira. Am I saying that right? Akira, Akara. This is an Akira shirt, an Akara shirt. I don't know how exactly how to pronounce it, but hey, that's it. Um, I have on my Louis Vuitton glasses. I paired it with my Louis Vuitton purse. Um, I have on my Balenciaga slides. Paired it with my Balenciaga slides. Um, Thank you. Um, so this, the look that I went for today was cute, sexy, comfortable, but cool. Um, I went with that, you know, popped out with a little lavender color on the dress. Somebody said, let me see again. All right, guys. Three sixty. Three sixty. Three sixty. Three sixty. Y'all just want to see the booty. Stop playing, guys. Stop playing. I just want to see the booty. <laughs> so I paired it with um, the this dress, like I said, is from Fashion Nova. It's the bodycon Fashion Nova dress. Um, I paired it with an Akara, an Akira, an Akata. I don't know how to pronounce the shirts, but you can. Um, I'll put it inside description on my um, on my post when I post today. Um, I also paired it with my Louis Vuitton glasses, my Louis Vuitton purse. My Balenciaga slippers, little toesies, little toesies, toesies is out. <laughs> um, I also paired it, hold on one second, let's get this right. I also paired it. Hold on one second. Let me get somebody blocked. Hold on one second. Let me get somebody blocked. Hello? Please. So you think that I should, you know, kind of like broadcast and do like um, stylish tips and um, put that shit on class one on one? Put that shit on one on one? Yes, I lost the bottom tooth after the accident. Yes, I did. 
So for the ones that wanted to know exactly what's going on, um, I'll explain to y'all a little bit so that y'all guys can get an understanding. Um, instead of you talking and try to ridicule me, try to understand at least what I'm going through. Um, so you guys know that I was in a very horrible, a terrible accident uh, due to a hate crime. I was walking across the street when I got struck by a SUV, a khaki expedition. Um, he came driving, he was driving extremely fast. He sped up when he saw me. I wasn't able to see him at that very moment until I turned to the right. Um, and as you can see, all of the damage that is done to me is on my right side. I have three broken bones in my face. I have um, the broken bone that's right here that, that makes the first broken bone to the three bones that's broken in my face is the top right here where it's connected to my eye where my retina is damaged because it ruptured my retina. Um, it also broke a bone that is in the back. If you did not know, there's a bone that's in the back towards the eye and it's bleeding in the back of my eye. Um, I also have internal bleeding in my brain. Um, there is, I, I wanna show you guys, but I really cannot do too much, but there are five screws in my hand, and the screws go all the way to here. Um, I have five screws in my hand. Um, there is also a fractured right leg. There's a bone on the right side of my leg that is fractured. I'm really taking that very lightly. I'm not supposed to even be walking around or anything due to being a fractured bone. Exactly how hard or what I'm doing exactly. I don't know what's going on the inside of my bone. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that I can make a wrong move and boom, crack, boom, crack, crackle pop. You know what I'm saying? So I know I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I'm just definitely going to keep it real. Um, there's also a broken toe on my left side. I keep myself very much up. You know, I don't play about that, uh, play about stuff like that. So I'm taking very good care of myself. Um, you was just working. That really doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to do that. That's the thing. Um, uh, yes, I'm in pain. I mean, you said that as if that's denying the fact of what I'm going through. You can clearly see it. <laughs> so that doesn't really distinguish the fact or make anything better or worse. You can clearly see what I'm going through. Me twerking or not. Am I supposed to be doing it? Maybe not. But at the end of the day, it still happens. It's still going on. That doesn't make a difference if I'm twerking or not. Yeah, maybe am I supposed to be doing it? Maybe not. But I'm doing it. That's my business. Let me worry about that. Um, there is a, a numerous of things that's going on with my body that, you know, that I'm getting better. The incident happened due to a man driving, um, discriminating against me. I am a trans woman for the ones that's just now joining. Um, I'm a trans woman and he was driving when he saw me he sped up he did not decrease uh, the speed of him driving he increased and when he increased at the moment of me seeing him I turned to the right and as you can see all of the damages that is done has been done on the right side of my body like me turning this way to try to not stop the vehicle but an impact type of thing so it was more so of me getting impacted on that situation. Um, he hit me with a truck. I don't. I didn't know this man. Him just being a dirty person. You know what I'm saying? Being very. Um, I don't even know what to call it. Um, being a type of person like that, you know, you don't get well. God will deal with him. I don't have to do anything to, uh, spiteful or anything. Um, as I put like my hand out to try not to stop the car, but. So once I go like this, that's how all of this side got damaged. Hit me on this side, right? That's the reason why this whole side is damaged. So as he's driving and I'm trying to like, you know, trying to kind of, now I don't want to say stop it because there's no way possible I could stop a car, you know? So I was like this, you know, as, as I was walking across the street, I did not see him. He sped up. So it was like a quick type of thing. I did like this. And as I did like that, that's how that side got damaged so badly. Um, so, yeah, that was that. Um, I really had no choice but to kind of deal with the stuff that was going on. 
Um, the only reason why, like you see, there's hair on my face um, is because um, with my with me healing, I'm not able to do um, laser surgery. And the fact that being is because I'm healing. You cannot do laser surgery while you are having complications. There are three bones broken in my face. Um, there's a bone and five screws broken in my hand and my wrist. And this is all due to the fact of discrimination hated. I'm a trans woman. You guys know how I look beforehand. Beautiful. Body teeth. But the fact that I had a man discriminating against me hit me with his truck as I was walking across the street. Because maybe of your choice or preference. Maybe you didn't like trans women or whatever the case may have been. And you struck me with your car and kept going. And at that moment, at that instance, I had no control. A human being can't stop a car. So at that moment, it says this, I took a loss due to the fact of someone discriminating against me because of me being a trans woman. Um, and that's the thing that I'm, I'm dealing with kind of at the moment. I'm trying to heal. Um, I'm within my second and a half to third week process of healing. Uh, the damage happened to me about a week, two weeks ago. So I'm in my second to third week of healing. So everything is still freshly kind of new to me. I'm still kind of still going through the process of even realizing that I took a major loss. I took a real major loss. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know exactly how to feel about it, but I know I'm feeling it. Um, you know, there's a couple of things that I'm going through that basically nobody would understand. No matter if you had a wreck or whatever the case may be in, the reason behind me having that situation going on was due to discrimination. You know what I'm saying? Me being a trans woman, we already fight for our life in this society and in the community of living in life with period. You know what I'm saying? And it's not because, oh, oh, people say, that, oh, you just want to be a girl. No, you don't know exactly what's going on. See, chromosomes work in different ways. You know what I'm saying? And I have had tremendous problems after this incident. Um, and it's not a game, it's not funny, nor is it humorous. Um, this is actually informational for people to actually get an understanding. This is a story for other trans women. Um, this is actually a testimony for other trans women. This is something that people actually need to listen and open the eye going through and what other trans women may go through on a daily basis. Um, them titties sitting up at it. Girl, my hormones eat me down. Let's not talk about it. Let's not act like y'all didn't know who I was and what I was before the accident, honey. No, I don't know. no surgeries. No surgeries. Pure natural. No surgeries. No silicone. No none of that. Natural. Hormones. Natural. Everything soft. Everything soft. So when it comes down to it, y'all have to understand that I'm dealing with certain things that I wished in God to heaven that I did not go through. And it's painful. It's painful. It's painful to know that we're dealing with society in a different perspective. People cannot learn how to mind their business because they're so focused on putting out that point of view. Oh, that's nasty. That's disgusting. You're a man. Da 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 da. X and Y chromosomes determine man and woman, correct? I have both. So when you speak on that, you have to understand that it's not a choice that was made due to the fact of me wanting to just to be a woman. This is how something I felt. This is something me living. This is something of me um, growing into it. This is something of me learning. You know what I'm saying? This is not me just wanting to be a woman. Yeah, I was a man at first. That's what I was born. Correct. You are totally correct. And I'm not going to take that from you. I was born a male. Most definitely. I was born male. But the matter in hand is what I am doing is what I choose to do. And that should not be the character of um, desperate attention seeking. It should not be um, a situation to where people will take that and make it more than what it is. It's my business. If you don't choose to believe in it, if you do not like it, if you do not feel like that is right, mind your business. I know from now on, nobody else will try me. That's what I do know. I know from now on, nobody else will try me because I have to make sure myself is safe. I have to make sure that I'm okay. 
Nobody protected me in that situation and in that moment. I was by myself. I had no one to protect me, to love me, to care for me, to be able to show me that was not right. At the end of the day, if you choose to feel like that, that in that moment, that that was okay, then you should look within, within yourself. You should look in between with yourself because I, I didn't, I don't hate no one. I love everybody. I love everybody. I don't have not one hatred bone in my body. Not one. I don't have not one hatred bone in my body. I kept my downfall. I don't hate nobody. I could talk my shit, most definitely. But I don't hate nobody. That doesn't make me better, greater, worse to hate anyone. Not at all. Not at all. That doesn't make me better, greater, or worse to hate anyone. 